Taz from Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One here to empower and inspire your wig journey. Today we're going to learn all about another wig pro style in my ongoing series. This one is really affordable, pretty simple in its design, but super cute. We're going to take a look at Kylie. I have Kylie in two colors today. One, we're going to do a live unboxing coming up. Kylie is a mid-length bob style cut with lots of soft tousled unstructured curl. This wig was sent to me by Wig Pro in cooperation with Wig Studio One. All of the Wig Pro styles you will find at Wig Studio One. Expand the description box below this video. I'll attach a link directly to Kylie as well as the other Wig Pro styles. We invite you to shop at Wig Studio One if you have any questions for us please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. Kylie is a super cute wearable curly style and it's affordable. As of the date of this filming, it's around $148 at Wig Studio One. And then when you take off the additional automatic 30% off all wig pro styles at Wig Studio One, this brings it down to around $100. And please keep in mind that these prices do change and they can change often. So just keep an eye on the site for any particular price changes. In this Wig Pro series, I don't often get a choice of which colors they're going to send me, but I'm always grateful to be able to present all the different variety of styles and colors by Wig Pro. So this is Camel Brown on Kylie today, and that color code is a six, an eight, and a 12. So they describe it as being a medium chestnut brown with some light chestnut brown and then some light golden brown. I think all of those colors are definitely uh, evident in this style, that deeper chestnut brown being more of a neutral brown, but deep enough to give this some really nice dimension. And then the lighter chestnut brown pieces will just further that dimension. But what's really obvious is this light golden brown. Very easy to see, it's almost a dark golden blonde. And that really sets this color, doesn't it? Especially on this curl. Now this is not a rooted color. However, because of that deeper medium brown, um, it really does kind of give the illusion of some regrowth because of the lighter highlighting. So all in all, I look at this as being a medium brunette, leaning more on the warm side because of some of these lighter golden brown pieces. So I do have another color to show you, but coming up a little later, we're gonna do a live unboxing and application of that color. So let's get into the specs for Kylie. Um, I think it's really wearable. In fact, this is just the right length for a nice longevity of a style, yet it's not too short. So it's a nice mid-length cut that just is above the shoulder on most people. I'm a little petite from my measurement from head to, or from hairline to chin, as well as from chin to collarbone, right around 10 inches in total. So this particular style is probably gonna be around 12 to 13 inches in total length. But what's really fantastic about this is the front and how the front really nicely frames the face. So we have a six to eight inch front piece here. So that first layer coming right off of the front is about six inches. And I would say that's true because I'm six and a half from hairline to chin. And then you have another layer just a little further down here that's gonna stretch to eight inches. Um, and then like I said, overall around 12 and a half, 13 inches, something like that. And it comes right off the front and just sort of frames the face. So with Kylie, what you're going to discover is that there is a smoother crown. So that smooth crown just really takes off into this curl about halfway down the style. Um, now you can still get some volume and things in there and we'll talk about that here in a moment. Kylie features a traditional machine made cap and weighs just over four ounces. Now let me remark on the fibers for you because this feels like nothing. It feels like air on and that's because of this really fine, baby fine cloud-like texture of these fibers. Each one of the fibers is a really super fine. It's a nice silky type of fiber. It has really cute, very bouncy movement, lots of body in this one. 
the curls are sort of just doing all the work there at the bottom. Now, as you can imagine, there's quite a bit of permatease on Kylie. I don't think it's overdone with permatease. It's just the right amount in all the right places because there's very little permatease right here on the top. Um, nothing thick, pillowy, and heavy, and I think that's just to give um, just to give some support to this really smooth looking crown. Now you can sort of pinch in some volume there for sure, but most of your volume is going to be found around the middle and the bottom with these curls. So in the back, you'll find quite a bit of permatease at the back, um, at the nape, and maybe a little bit at the temple, but not right at the ear tab. So I'm expecting, it's just a hunch, but yes, ear tucks are really awesome on this style because there's no permatease right here. Sometimes you can get into those styles with a lot of permatease and it looks unnatural when you try to tuck it. I think this is really, really tuckable, which is gonna give some really cute styling options. This curl, so, this curl isn't in the realm of a beach wave. This curl isn't in the realm of uh, rollers and set with rollers and just sort of deconstructed. This curl is more of what I think the natural curl variety. Um, a little bit chaotic, tousled, bouncy, fully formed in some areas, a little bit of a looser curl in others. It just reminds me of um, a nice head of natural curly hair that has either been air dried or partially blown out, especially on the top. I think that if you get a darker color or a rooted color, you're not gonna be able to spy down into any visible permatease at the parting space. However, you can part this however you want, but right out of the box, it really did have that factory left of center part. Um, but you can move that around. This is just kind of how it fell around my face. And I think that this is a nice preferable part for me. And it is conducive to keeping the fiber out of the face. Okay, so let's start our unboxing of our second color, which is 1416 R8. I reviewed this color back on the uh, Wig Pro Ellen style. So we're going to take a look at it today. inside out in the box and everything wants to come out with it so. okay the net right away you can just sense that beautiful buoyant curl and then the hang tag. Inspecting the cap. Everything looks pretty good here. Let's take a look at it. So this is that traditional cap that I talked about, but actually it's an open cap. So what you'll find is a beautiful velvet piece right at the front. This is a nice, comfortable velvet piece. Like I said, it just feels so soft and easy to wear. Then you have some open uh, wefts on the top open wefted sides and back, an open ear tab, lots of fiber spliced in there. That's why I think I can get some really nice coverage even when I tuck it. And then you have an open extended nape with Velcro style adjusters. I think that's always a nice touch to have Velcro adjusters even on such an affordable style. Now talking about the fit, um, I am going to apply this style without making any adjustments. We'll discuss the fit with my 21 and a quarter inch circumference. And then I will have to make some adjustments most likely uh, so that this wig does not roll around on my head while I'm trying to do a review. Ooh, that's another beautiful color, isn't it? Um, okay, so let's shake. I can already tell that the, cur the curl pattern is different on this piece. It's softer, it's rounder, it has more of a barrel-y type appearance, but let's see what we get here. 
because sometimes when you wake up those fibers by shaking it, uh, getting at the root a little bit, it deconstructs those curls in just a way that makes them cute, tasseled, okay. Just getting at the part here. There was no weave part there to speak of and it came out almost immediately there. Maybe a little bit of a weave part there. So I'll do the rest of my picking and fluffing when I have it applied. So let me go ahead and apply it. We'll talk about the color and then we will work with our Kylie. Oh my goodness, isn't it adorable? I just love the curl, wow. So yeah, I mean, I think this curl may be just a bit, um, a bit less chaotic compared to the one in the camel, but still, wow. Okay, so what I wanna do first is I just wanna get into that permatease layer and spring up the fiber away from that permatease. Bringing the part. And that was not hard to do at all. These wispy fibers are just amazing. Okay. Oh, these are always so challenging because I've never I have not seen this piece on, and it's hard to fix and adjust it when I'm looking in the camera. But I can already tell, I love it. Look how it frames the face. So you can see where the part was just a little left of center, which I think gives the most flattering look. Now, if you part yours on the right, you could certainly change that part. And I'll try to address that in the, um, in the styling segment for us. So I just wanna swirl around at the front just to further wake that up. Now, a lot of times what you wanna do, because that's just a basic cap there, basic cap wig line, is pull the fibers up and away, just loosely, and then swirl around at the base of the fiber. And then pull down and separate some of that, those layers. So that the very front pieces, just pull down some of those. And then allow the layers just to kind of float over the top. That will give you a wispier look around the face. And you won't be able to see through to the wig cap as much if you pull down some little finer baby hairs there around the cap line. So always get in there and pick and fluff and bring air into the layering one layer at a time. You see me do this quite a bit. Okay, how adorable. Now I think this is really cute guys, I really, really do. And now I wish I had it in my favorite blonde. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes? Sometimes you get one and it's like, wow, I love this so much, but I wish I had it in this color. So I may just have to order one. All right, so let's talk about this color, this 1416 R8. So what you have is a combination of some dark blondes. Um, so that initial one is just a dark, neutral, dirty blonde shade, okay? Almost getting into more of a light brown. Um, and then you will also see kind of a dark honey blonde. And that honey blonde also, it just, it isn't real light, it isn't real bright, and it's not too much in your face. It just gives a nice subtle dimension. And then everything is on a medium brown root. So the dimension is there for sure. And it is on the warm side. Let's talk about the consistency in other areas. So there's just a little bit of, of difference in the curl pattern. Both are beautiful, tousled, buoyant. Um, in terms of permatease, there might be a little more permatease on the top of this one, but just a slight amount. The only reason I notice that is because I always assess how easily I can get lift on the top and all of that hinges on the amount of permatease. So just a, maybe a little bit more up there. 
Um, same everywhere else. Now, if you really love this style, but you really wish it had a lace front and a monofilament top, check out my review on Miley. I'll go ahead and put it up here. Miley by Wig Pro is almost identical in measurements to this, but it has a lace front and a monofilament top. It is also really, really cute. So discussing fit on this one, right out of the box and just applying it, um, it's completely average. But I feel like I don't have to make much of an adjustment at all. In fact, I won't, won't make one for this review um, to accommodate a petite average circumference. So my feeling is that it's best suited for a 21 and a quarter through like 20, two and a quarter is probably the best fit circumference uh, for Kylie. And this was true on both of the styles. Um, okay, so what I'll do now is we'll do a side-by-side, -side, both indoor and outdoor light for both colors. Now I'm looking outside now and it's really snowing out there. There's not much natural light. So I might just, again, and I've been doing this, especially for winter time, is I'll just, I'll stand in the threshold and I'll kind of dip my head into the natural light as well as a step back so that you can see all the variables there. Every Back to Kylie in the color Camel Brown. Um, this one does seem to have a little more volume and I think it's because the curl kind of starts to tossle up a little closer to the crown. Plus there seems to be a little more contour um, in the way the fibers are spliced in on the top, giving it a little bit of more height on top compared to the other one. And these are just observances that you can make, especially when I start to edit and see them side by side. Now, both of them I would expect to fit well with glasses just because there's very little permatease above the ear tab. Um, let's check it out. Yes, perfect. This is a glasses friendly style. And again, you know, this is very subjective because it depends on your own measurements, uh, the thickness of your glasses, arms and things. But on me, this seems to be a very glasses friendly style. So now I'm just going to do some styling with each of these colors and it'll give you a better idea of the thickness, the density, the movement of the hair and hopefully inspire you to style your Kylie by Wig Pro. Check out all of the links below at Wig Studio One. We'll see you soon on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.